Welcome to Tech Logics. In today's video, part of our series, we previously demonstrated how to connect a camera to a Wi Fi router and add it to the True Cloud app for remote access. Today, we'll show you how to connect a Cube camera directly to the True Cloud app without using an internet router or modem. This means you'll have direct Wi Fi access, allowing the camera to be accessed nearby via its access point. This method is suitable for those without internet access. However, please note that we do not recommend this method, as the camera can only be accessed within a 5 to 10 meter radius. For a more reliable and efficient experience, we recommend connecting the camera through an internet router or modem to achieve optimal performance. Before connecting to Wi Fi, insert your micro SD card into the TrueView Wi Fi camera. Power off the camera first to prevent potential damage during installation. Carefully locate the micro SD card slot, usually at the bottom of the device, and insert the card, ensuring it aligns with the indicated orientation. For optimal performance, use a micro SD card up to 256 GB, which can store approximately 10 to 15 days of footage depending on your recording settings. To remove the card later, press gently to release it and then pull it out. Always verify that the card is seated securely to avoid data loss or recording issues. To download and install the TrueCloud app, open the Play Store on your smartphone or tablet. Search for TrueCloud and ensure you select the app developed by Warner India. Tap on it to open its page, then press the Install button. Accept any permission requests, and the app will download and install automatically within a few minutes. After installation, open the app by tapping Open or locating its icon on your home screen or app drawer. If you already have a TrueCloud account, log in with your registered email or phone number and password. New users can choose to register via email or mobile number, follow the prompts to enter your details, and verify your account with the code sent via email or SMS. Create a secure password, and for easier future access, link your email or phone number. The app may also request permissions for location and Bluetooth to ensure smooth camera connectivity and operation. To begin configuring the TrueView Wi-Fi camera with the mobile app, first ensure the camera is properly powered using the supplied DC power adapter. A stable power supply is essential for the camera to operate smoothly during setup. After powering on the camera, allow a few moments for it to boot up and establish a connection to your network. Once the camera is powered on, listen for an audio prompt indicating it is ready for network configuration. You might hear a message such as, please configure the network, which signals that the camera is prepared to connect to your mobile device. You can then proceed to the next step in the setup process. When ready to connect, make sure the camera is in network connection mode. If it's not, press and hold the reset button for about 3 seconds until you hear a notification sound. The camera will reboot, and you should hear the, please configure the network, message while the green LED flashes slowly, signaling it's ready for Wi-Fi connection and app pairing. Keep your phone close to ensure a stable and smooth connection. Please configure the network. Once you hear the voice confirmation and see the LED blinking slowly, you can add your camera to the TrueView app. Tap on Add Device or the plus plus symbol symbol. Then, choose the option to scan a QR code or initiate Bluetooth pairing mode. Before proceeding, the app will ask for permissions to access your location and Bluetooth. Make sure to grant these permissions to facilitate the setup. A device to be added has been found. Please click the Add button to add the device. The app may also display a list of nearby searchable cameras. For this demo, ensure that your location and Bluetooth are enabled on your mobile device to see the camera in the list. Since this camera model supports Bluetooth pairing, the app will automatically detect the nearest available camera and display it. Select the correct camera from the list and tap the Add button. The app will then prompt you to select your Wi-Fi network to complete the connection process. Since this demonstration showcases the direct Wi-Fi connection method, you can switch the Wi-Fi connection mode to Direct Connection. To do this, select the Wi-Fi connection option at the top right of the screen, then choose Direct Connection. 
This allows the camera to connect directly to your device without needing an internet router. The app will prompt you to confirm the direct connection method. To proceed, simply tap the Confirm button on the screen. This step ensures that the camera is set up correctly for direct Wi-Fi connection mode. The next prompt from the app will instruct you to press the Reset button on the camera twice. Doing this will enable the camera to switch to the direct Wi-Fi connection mode, allowing it to connect directly to your mobile device without needing an internet router. Please configure the network. Once you have pressed the reset button twice, tap the I have double-clicked option on the app to confirm the action and proceed with the setup. Please read the guidance process carefully. After connecting the phone's wireless network to the device's hotspot, return to the app for subsequent operations. Please open the phone settings and select Wi-Fi. Please select the hotspot connection starting with IPC. Connect to the hotspot of the device. The default password is 11111111. After the connection is successful, please return to app for subsequent operations. The app will then guide you through the further configuration steps. Tap on the, the Go to Settings option, which will take you to the Wi-Fi setup page. On this page, Select the camera's AP Wi-Fi network, which typically starts with IPCXX, to establish a direct connection between your mobile device and the camera. Enter the camera Wi-Fi password, which is 11111111, into the Wi-Fi password field and then tap to connect. Additionally, ensure that you select Yes or enable the option to connect to this Wi-Fi network, even if it does not have internet access, to establish a successful connection with the camera. Once connected to the camera's Wi-Fi, return to the TrueCloud app to continue with the setup or operation. After a few moments for the process to complete, the camera will connect to your mobile phone via the direct Wi-Fi connection method. Once connected, it will link to the app and be ready for operation and monitoring. When the camera is successfully added to the TrueCloud app, you will receive a confirmation message indicating that the setup is complete. The camera is now ready for use. The app allows you to customize various settings, such as adjusting the date and time, selecting your preferred date format, and assigning a unique name to your camera. You can also set the camera's location for easier management of multiple devices and access live streaming to monitor your property in real time from anywhere. During initial setup, the app may prompt you to initialize the memory card installed in the camera, a necessary step before recording can begin. Follow the on-screen instructions to format or activate the card, ensuring it's properly prepared to store footage without issues. If you skip this step initially, you can always check and complete it later through the app settings. After configuring the Wi-Fi connection and adding your camera, choose an optimal location for installation to ensure full coverage. Proper placement is essential for effective monitoring, allowing you to capture the desired area clearly and securely. To verify the status of your memory card, open the camera settings in the TrueCloud app, navigate to Storage Settings, and select Record List. If the card appears as Uninitialized, tap on Storage Medium, and then choose the Initialize button. This will format the card for recording. Once completed successfully, the status will display as In Use, and the available storage capacity will be shown. You can access recorded footage by switching to the SD card storage view within the app. The camera records motion detection or event-triggered footage by default, but you can customize the recording mode to suit your surveillance needs. To review recorded videos, tap the Playback button within the app and select SD as the storage location. Note, this method will work when the camera's Wi-Fi is directly connected to your mobile phone with a maximum distance of up to 10 meters. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support motivates us to create more content. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials.